This is Sri Ramunda. So emaciated, he is too weak to move or talk. He suffers from breathlessness and loss of appetite. His blackened skin and stick-like figure is a signal to his family that his illness is closing in. The illness is silicosis, a condition of permanent lung damage that eventually leads to death. In the villages surrounding Jamshedpur, villagers have witnessed the same progression of the disease time and time again. In these poverty-stricken areas, villagers often work in mining and stone-crushing factories. These activities release fine silica dust. In India, thousands of workers die and thousands more become seriously ill from inhaling silica dust. In 2015, India's National Human Rights Commission ruled in favor of workers who were left dead or sick after working in mining or stone crushing activities. Victims were compensated an average of 4 lakh rupees. This ruling came after a 10 year long struggle and was a huge victory for Oshaj. The Occupational Safety and Health Association of Charkand. They prevailed over an unsympathetic government and in different factory owners. Since 2003, Oshaj has been tirelessly fighting for the rights of workers to a safe and healthy work environment. They conduct workshops, collect work histories, organize medical camps, and campaign to raise awareness and mobilize communities, as well as support victim families. Oshaj works with experts in occupational lung disease in the effort to garner compensation for the victims. We are comparing this x-ray with the standard ILO reference plate. This one is one by one P by P and this one is one by one Q by Q. This opacity is here, round opacity is a little larger. So this x-ray matches more with this one than with this one. Oshaj's work inverts the perennial, predictable story of India's poor exploited by those with power and money. Their work empowers Dalit communities and fights for Adivasi rights, empowers women, prevents child labor, reduces rural to urban migration, while promoting literacy and education and small businesses, thus addressing larger issues of social, economic, cultural, political, and environmental justice.